Okay, hopefully you guys can see everything now. I don't know what's going on. I think um, things are a little glitchy. <laughs> it's just life right now. <laughs> things are a little glitchy. So um, hopefully you guys can see me though. I'm so sorry if this if this kicks off again, I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing because again, it's showing normal on my end. Hi, Glenda. Okay. So again, I'm just chalking this one in in black. Perfect. Okay. So let's put this black away. I am gonna use black again. Let's put the black away. And then what I wanna do is I wanna dry this and then I'm gonna layer this one over, but this one I'm gonna do in, um, in yellow. So let me, let me grab my hair dryer. And let me just hit this part with a dryer real quick. And then we're gonna layer the next little um, honeycomb on. Okay, so here we go. Joining doctors. So sorry, I don't know what's going on, but I think we're back. So anyway, like I was saying, everybody has said that like they're slowing down, and I'm not slowing down. I'm I'm way busier than I was previous to pandemics, but we're dealing with it. And crafting is so much fun. Like there are days that I'm working, and I'm like, oh, all I want to do is craft. <laughs> so. This is great that I get to be with you guys and craft. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I am layering this on. The great thing about these um, these transfers, this like honeycomb pattern, is you can you can layer it however you want to layer it. So if I wanted to actually actually I could layer it like this. No, I want more of it on there. So something like that. I could layer it just like this. So just kind of however you want to layer it. But as you can see, see how like those, you can see where it is on the inside. Actually, I need to kind of turn this one to the side a little bit more. But because it's that, that honeycomb pattern, they're all going to fit together. There we go. That's better. Okay. So it's going to fit. But you can layer it however you like. So hi, Arlene. Oh yeah, so what I was saying before, people are posting about how they're happy to be at home and they're happy to slow down. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a million times busier. I'm probably one of the only people that's a little bit busier. All right, so we're using, I'm actually using Marigold. Marigold is a retired color, but it's one of my favorites because it's a great deep um, yellowish orange. If you're looking for a yellow yellow, there's Daffodil which is about this color. This is an older yellow too, but daffodils about the same color. So, um, but those are some yellows that you can use. But again, I'm using, I'm using marigold. If you happen to have marigold, it's one of my favorites. If you don't, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but there are plenty of yellow stills to choose from. Okay. So there we go. Oh yes, oh yes, exactly the look I was going for. So I really wanted there to be some black and yellow kind of intermixed with this honeycomb here. So that is exactly what I wanted that look to look like. You can kind of see the black underneath these two little honeycombs over here. It starts off black in the corner. And then we're gonna layer this on and this we're actually gonna do in black as well. So let me hit this honeycomb that I just did. Let me hit that with the dryer so we can layer on this other piece real quickly. So now we're gonna layer on the Honeybee Farms. I love this one, it's so cute. Honeybee Farms established 1894. I can, there we go, peel it up. 
I'm going to check. Hi, Judy. Hi. Again, if you're joining, say hi so that I know you're watching. All right. So I am fuzzing this in my lap. I have a fuzzing cloth in my lap. And the reason I want to fuzz this is because this is a brand new transfer. It's super, super, super sticky. It's made to be used over and over again. Um, and so when you get these new transfers, they're super sticky. You want to kind of take a little of the stickiness off. So you want to fuzz it on a towel. I have a chalk couture fuzzing cloth, but you can absolutely just use a kitchen towel or a bath towel. Um, it, you know, if you're still wearing jeans because it's still kind of cold where you live, you can fuzz it on your jeans. Just anything that's going to kind of pick up a little fuzz and kind of tone down the stickiness a little. Okay, so I want this just right here in the center. That looks about right. So Honeybee Farms right there, right in the center. And again, this one I'm doing in all black. I want it to really pop against that white background and against the, the yellow honeycombs that I've got there. So this is just really easy, just chalking it right in with black. I'm using my small squeegee. Perfect. I'm going to put the excess right back in the jar. Peel this up. And even, oh my gosh, even with fuzzing that, this one is still super, super, super sticky. I probably could have fuzzed that about 10 more times. There we go. So I have a little water bath that I'm setting those in right over here. Cute, look how cute that is so far. Oh, I'm loving it. So we're not done yet because we have some little bees. So I do want to add some bees, but first, I want to show you guys what I made over the weekend. So I made bee skeets. Have you heard of these? They're these little, the little dome thing, okay? So it's the little dome and it's got like this little thing at the top, right? So this I used a two liter bottle and a bottle of like Sprite or ginger ale or something. And I just kind of cut the top off and I cut it off on the bottom. And so I had this little dome, okay? So that's my large bee ski. Then I made smaller ones. And you guys, these are my favorite. I love how cute these are. These, I used um, plastic Easter eggs. I used the, the, the more pointier top of plastic Easter eggs. So look how stinking cute those are. So these are called bee skis, okay? So now what they're supposed to have is like a little hole. So I think it's kind of like this little transfer, okay? So like this little thing that's supposed to look like that. Um, Although I thought that was a hive, I don't, I, I, I don't know bees. Someone, someone knows bees better than I do. But the bee skeep is supposed to have like a little black dot or hole, almost kind of like how a birdhouse has a hole. So we're gonna add the little hole with um, some black ink, okay? If I can get it open, ha <laughs> ha. We're gonna add the little hole on these little bee skeeps with some black ink. And then what I will do, later because I don't have my hot glue gun plugged in, but I'll take um, a little twine and then around the black part, I'll make like a little round twine. I'll, I'll um, what's the word, outline it, I guess. I don't know. Um, my, again, my brain is absolute mush right now. <laughs> so, um, but that's what I'll do with this. But for now, I've got this round, paintbrush and if you had actually a round um I'm gonna do it right here if you had a round um foam brush that would work really well but this is gonna work perfectly fine so there we go all right so I just made like a little round dot so I'm gonna do that for all of these and again I am using just um black chocolate ink if you had like acrylic paint or something, you could use that. But I have ink, that's what we're using. So cute, 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 right? All right, so then on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna make this much, much larger, okay? So I'm actually going to like paint a circle here and we're just gonna fill it in.
And then again, the outside of this edge is going to be covered with um, some more twine. So even if the edge doesn't look exactly perfectly round, it's okay because it's going to get covered up by the twine. Okay. Perfect, right? Look at that. Looks great. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stick that in my water. We're done with those. Now, these little bee skeet things were so much fun to make because all you do is you twirl twine around whatever your base is. So in this case, it was a bottle. In this case, it was the little eggs. And you just hot glue it. Super easy. You going to bed? <laughs> Ryan's going to bed. <laughs> he says goodnight, everyone. <laughs> all right. I am just going to check. Are my helpers sound asleep? Yes, they are. They are. They are. My helpers are sound asleep. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. So now you're supposed to put the twine or or rope, whatever you're using, all the way up to the very tippy top like this. This one, I ran out of this thick um, rope. And I thought, well, if that part's open, let's just add a bow and cover it up. So we're going to add a bow and cover it up. So you're not even going to see that it's open. So I am going to make a bow. And I know I have showed you guys how to make a bow before, so I'll just show you again. So the first thing you want to start with is I'm using a little floral wire right here, and you want to start with the center of your bow. So this is going to be the center. Then all you do is twist and loop and twist and loop, and that's all it is, twist and loop. All right. And this is, we're not going to make a real huge bow because this is not a, um, this is not a real huge bee skeep, you know, it's kind of small. So we don't need this to be huge, huge. And I'm just pulling that floral wire down so it's around each layer that I make with this little bow, okay? So this is all we're doing. And we're twisting and making a loop. And that's probably enough right there. It's probably enough little loops. Okay. So I'm gonna pull this real tight and then twist my, my floral wire down there at the bottom, okay? And then if you've seen me do this before, you just cut one end off, and then we're going to make another little tail. Okay. And then we're going to put this back here with this other little tail so it looks like it's a full ribbon with two little tails, and it looks great. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So now we have a little bow, we can fluff it up. And this is um, wired ribbon. I always use wired ribbon when I make these bows because you wanna be able to fluff up the bow, fluff up those loops. Look how cute that is. Like, that looks adorable. So it's a cute little, cute little um, bow there. So I am going to give this a little dovetail Oh, the other way, this way. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, adorable, perfect. So now I can put a bow on the open end of this little bee skeep thing so you can't tell that it's actually open. All right. And I'm kind of going to put it like on the side here, but you, the, because it's big enough, it's going to cover up that hole. Okay. Or I can put it in the middle, however I'm going to put it. But I'm probably going to hot glue it actually, because that's not going to stay. But look at that. Whoa, can you see it? I'm just, I am all over the place today. Look how cute that is. Okay. So. That's how that's going to look. Now, 
I do want to add, I want to add one little B to the ribbon. Okay, so if the ribbon's hanging on that little B ski, if the ribbon's hanging like right there, I want to put a little, um, a little B right there. So let's add a B. And I'm going to put him in yellow right on there so that he pops against that, that um, black buffalo deck. And then I might, I guess I'm going to add one over here too. So we'll, we'll chalk this little guy twice. So I'm chalking it on my hands. I should probably put something hard underneath there. What do I have that's hard? My phone. No, I don't want to use my phone. Um, I guess I'll just pull this off. I really should have thought this through before, <laughs> before I attached it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, there we go. All right. So we're just, I'm chalking on the ribbon. You can chalk on ribbon, you can chalk on fabric. So long as you're not gonna wash it, you can absolutely use the chalk. You don't have to use ink. That is so stinking cute. Look at that. You guys see? Little bee on the ribbon. That is adorable. So I wanna use this real quickly before it, um, before, that yellow dries out. Now I'm gonna stick this guy up here in the black part of that, um, that honeycomb up there, since he's gonna be all yellow. So I've got a little yellow bee up in the black part of that honeycomb up there now. Okay, and then we've got this other little bee. He can be a different species of bee, and we can make him black. So, I was thinking I'd make them black and put them like right over here, but now I'm actually thinking maybe I'll do them yellow and just have them up here on this, um, whatever that line is, that little embellishment. Maybe he can go right here. Just kind of sit right, like perch on that little line and make him yellow too. Okay, let's go back to the yellow. Let's see here. Cute. Okay. Ooh, I should have fuzzed that a little bit longer too. Goodness, that one's sticky. Oh yeah, that looks super cute with him perched on that little line. Look at that. So stinking cute. Okay, so now I've got my little bee theme going on. So I love it. Hold on, I gotta grab a baby wipe. I have I have a little bee chalked on my my mat here. Okay, what do we think? So we've got this. We've got the little bee skeeps. So now, if you have um, you know, if you have like a shelf, or you know, if you have built-in bookcases, which is like my dream to have built-ins one day. Um, you know, you can change out like a little motif, a little, a little, um, you know, a little shelf with your little shelf sitter bee skeeps. But look how cute that is. It all goes together. They can all kind of sit together and hang out together. And you've got a cute little sign to sit up with it. So I love it. I think it's so cute. Again, I've wanted to do the bees for a while and I just haven't because um, I've done so many other different designs. And so I finally bought the bees and I just love them. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is just so cute. I love it. So, hi, Sabra. Hello, good evening. <laughs> so I did, like I said, I made this over the weekend, these little bee skeeps. I made them over the weekend. And so I do have a video. Once I edit the video, I will put it up and show you guys how to do it. But if you watched me do my eggs, watch it right here. If you saw me do these little farmhouse eggs, I used the exact same technique. So all I did was hot glue gun um, on the plastic um, plastic Easter eggs and then used twine. And that's basically all I did for these two, except for this, I used a, a two liter bottle. But these are just half of an egg, half of a little plastic egg. So if you're looking for easy little crafts to do, um, I wouldn't necessarily suggest doing this with little kids because it is hot glue. 
<laughs> um, but um, my friend Susan said she did it with double-sided tapes. So, like if you were to put double-sided tape on a couple spaces on this egg, um, the twine's going to stick to the double-sided tape. So if you have double-sided tape and little kids, that may be a good option. So, oh, I'm glad you guys like it. Hi, Callie. I will not tell the boys that you're still awake because <laughs> they're sound asleep. <laughs> Um, so if anybody has any questions, leave them below. And like I said, I'll try to get the video up, um, you know, in the next day or so, so you guys can see how I made these little things. And then once I get it all kind of put together, I'll, I'll take a picture. If I had built in bookshelves, this is what, what it would look like. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show you guys something fun tonight, something really cute, um, and beautiful because I love the bees. I just really, really love them. I think they're adorable. Um, and we're getting into springtime, and it's just fun. So uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, I'm trying to pop in as often as I can in the morning with the kids if they're behaving, and in the evenings um, if I can get them to sleep and I don't fall asleep with them, then I will pop in in the evenings. Um, so, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. She's supposed to be sleeping. Aww. We'll tell her I said hi. Hi, Callie. <laughs> Go to sleep. It's nighttime. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. I miss our friends. This has been so hard. <laughs> um, it, this, is, this is very difficult, especially if you're like an extrovert and you have friends and you want to be out and about um, and you're not so much of a homebody. Um, I'm sure that this, you know, self quarantining thing is, is a little bit difficult. I feel your pain. So, um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them below. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday evening and I'll stop back in definitely later this week. I can't promise tomorrow, um, because I'm living day by day <laughs> these days. Um, so I will definitely try my hardest to pop in either in the morning or in the evening or possibly both. But, um, but I will definitely see you guys later this week. Have a great night.